The slugs are gonna eat my garden. They're everywhere. The weather here is rainy, cool, humid. I'm literally looking on leaves and there are slugs everywhere. So now I gotta figure out what to do with that. Um, I believe last year I used an organic pellet that you lay around. Um, that seems to be effective, but they are so bad. So bad. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you. So look at the holes on some of these things. I mean, this is a weed, but look at the holes. Now this is my onion patch. Usually the slugs don't bother my onions, but look at this. Oh my God. This is, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what'll happen if they eat everything like that. No, there's more inside. Look. So this one, let's see, I'm going to have to pick it off. Ah, look at them all. Boy, it's, it's a whole colony in here. You know, they just ruin everything, don't they? So I want to show you something else my husband bought me. Remember I told you there's been something pooping in my garden? Over here today, I found three piles of poop. I don't know if it's a cat or a raccoon, but look what he got me. He got me a T80 trail cam with Wi-Fi. It does pictures and video, and it's completely waterproof. So I put it here so I could point it towards here and see what the heck is going on in my garden. You know, it grosses me out because we're gonna eat these onions and it's like right next to it what am I gonna do so we're gonna find out who the culprit is sorry about Nina and Olive they just heard something so my goal today is hopefully if it stops raining I'm gonna go back there and I want to cook some pizza but I'm not sure even if it's not raining all these leaves when the wind blows it, it all comes down and I feel like I'm being rained on but I might give it a try, so I'll keep you guys updated on that. But other than the slug problem, I mean, there are some things that are growing really nice, like the onions. And my sweet potatoes are finally, finally looking like they want to take off. I had the sugar baby watermelon down there, but naturally the slugs ate them. But I put more seeds in and I see them coming up. So hopefully they'll, they'll keep away from them. And... My root stout potatoes. Oh my gosh. Never thought this would be this big. Now when I harvest, I see if I have any potatoes down there. Hopefully. So you saw the onions. Something's in eating my tree trunk. Joe's gonna repair that. And then, you know, I sowed carrots here and they just didn't pop up. I, I don't know why, not one carrot. Um, usually I grow carrots really well, but maybe for me this is not the year of the carrot. So, I don't know. Look at the mammoth's feet. I'm dying to see what that thing's going to look like. And look at my, um, I have some bell peppers over here. Look what the slugs did to this. Damage. Look, there's even one on one here. Oh my gosh, what am I going to do with these things? I just take them and I smash them. They're so slimy though, it's so gross. If you do that, just make sure you don't put your your, your fingers by your face or anything. The last thing you want is slug juice. Look at this. They did a lot of damage here, but it looks like these leaves are new and it looks like it's trying to come back poor thing so we'll see olive what are you doing down there here comes nina now nina to exit she's squeezing through the fence it's the only way she could figure out poor thing how to leave the garden come on and no my dogs don't poop in here they're never out here alone they're only here with me and the poops i'm finding are really big it's either a big cat a big raccoon or maybe a stray coyote. I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't think they would come here, but 
you know, you never know. I've seen so many things that I never thought would happen, and yet they happen. So let's see. Let's look back here. What are you eating, Olive? Nobody knows. So I want to make some pizza in my oven. See, it's a bread and pizza oven uh, that Joe and I built. Well, he did most of the work. I just helped a little bit when I came home from work. Um, but you see, in the middle is the oven part, and you put the food in there. But I'm not sure because the wood is like really wet, so getting wet wood to light is is a challenge. But I do have some dry wood under this cover here, so I might be able to pull one of those pieces out and maybe get it going. So we'll see. But anyway. What do you do with slugs, guys? What do you do with the slugs and the snails? What are what are your solutions? Um, a couple of years ago, I did a little cup of beer, and it worked, and they all went in there. But you know, the garden is so big that they're like they're everywhere. I would have to buy a keg of beer and literally just put it everywhere in my garden. You know, that's not gonna happen. But what do you guys do for slugs? I'm really frustrated with it because you know we work so hard to grow all our starts and everything and and they're they're feasting they're feasting on my hard work <laughs> remember I told you they're on my fence look they just go up the fence when it's humid or it rains oh man I know this is gonna happen look there's a baby one or another one if you move down here there's some there some here it, it's like a losing battle but that little 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 one it is a losing battle, but I know I'm going to get them somehow. That one's really little. Look how teeny this one is. So they're definitely like breeding everywhere. Other, other than that, the garden doesn't look bad. I've done worse some years. I'm really happy with it. We just got to get rid of those slugs. Get rid of the slugs. So comment down below and let me know what you guys do. Give me some ideas, some suggestions, anything you buy. Obviously, it's got to be organic um, because I, I don't want to put a chemical in here if I really don't have to. Um, just, I don't know. Tell me what you do. Don't forget to subscribe and like and and subscribe so you don't miss my next video. And, and I'll keep you guys updated on this. Take care.